What's going on guys? It's Rookie here. Today we have another game. Today that game is Fortnite. <laughs> this time it's the story mode. I just started playing this, you know, last week whenever they had that PlayStation sale. And, you know, I'm not disappointed at all. And honestly, I'll tell you, when I first saw this game, I was disappointed. Because when I first saw it, I was like, wow, this game is going to be amazing. You know, I watched every trailer, seen some of the gameplay. I was like, wow, this is this is, this is going to be amazing. I want to get all my friends to play it with me. Then one day I'm just chilling on Twitch. Hey, somebody's live streaming this game. And it's the developers. And I cannot lie. They were trash at this game. Trash from what I've seen. So I did not, in no way, think, oh yeah, I'm getting this. It's a given. I have to get this game. A couple months been by. Boom. Game's gonna be free. Okay, I'm definitely getting this game. It's not gonna be free till 2018. <sighs> I'm definitely gonna get this game. See, my demeanor changed hearing that. So I didn't know they were gonna do paid early access because I kept hearing this game was gonna be free to play, free to play, free to play. And then after that stream is when everybody started getting finessed. And, and I'm confused as to why they ended up doing it. I mean, they could have did microtransactions, which, you know, a lot of free games do anyways. And, and at that point, you know, I wouldn't care because I would have had the money to, you know, buy it. Even if I did, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I won't have to because since I've been playing this game, the grind, it's not necessarily a grind. Like, you do story missions, you do, like, special side missions, and you start getting those crates at the end of each mission. And at the end of each mission, like, you get XP that goes up. You get a level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. I think it goes up to 6. I've only gotten to 4, level 4 crates. And, you know, I get good stuff from those. I get good stuff from level 3 or level... I've never got level 2. I get, I get good stuff from level 3 and level 4 crates all the time. And then, you know, they got side missions that you can do, like quest pages. And then if you have a Twitch account... They have like daily missions like dude that gives you something to do every day that you play this game and i think that that honestly is amazing so you know there's you're not going to be bored playing this game and another thing that's great about that is because you know i've been bored of a lot of games that have come out this year i've been bored of a lot of games that's come out last year that i've been playing like even at this point where we have all these great AAA games and, you know, indie games. And and they're all, oh, this is super fun. This is five stars. Game's not five stars, bro. It's not five stars at all. You get like a four. And if we're going by tens, you're still a four. Your game's not that great. You got good graphics. You got an okay story. You beat the game, and there's nothing else for you to do. That's it. How does that sound fun? Skyrim, when they came out in 2011, I wasn't into Sky. I wasn't into Elder Scrolls. I thought, you know, those are computer games, I'll never play them. And then that's what I've been playing a lot recently. And the reason why I've been playing it so much is because Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, let's not forget Shadow of Mordor. I play every once in a while, but I delete that game every time because the game's boring. And then we go Destiny 1. I dropped Destiny 1 as soon as they had, well, not as soon as they had announced Destiny 2. But year 3, nobody can complain when I say that that game started getting trash. I'm sure they had a drop in people. I'm sure they had a rise in people because those are new kids that never played it. I played Destiny 1 from the second part of year 1. All the way up until year three. And then even after that, I played it and I had a whole bunch of fun on it. Destiny 2 comes out. Or, you know, when the pre-order for Destiny 2 came out, I hadn't touched Destiny 1 in six months. It was that bad. I've done everything. 
and there and back then we had a whole bunch of friends that played us played with us when Destiny. We never did a raid. Only raid I've ever done is Crota. And that's saying something. You do all the time and you couldn't find nobody that's good enough to play with you. But forget that. This game puts people in with you. Every time. It, they put they as soon as you jump in <clears throat> to a story mode mission i don't know about protecting your own fort because you sometimes have to do that on your own unless you have friends that can join but they drop people in here when you're doing story missions and these people they don't suck some of them do some of them like to just rush through the missions instead of you know checking the whole map just getting the exploration medals at the end you know that helps out leveling up to get different crates but I can't say that I've run into people that, you know, just die. Like, I died because I did a dragon slash, killed all these zombies, and then fell off the freaking map. I'm never going down in this game again this early. But, well, I'm saying that now just to be cocky, but <laughs> those zombies ain't touching me. I got a ninja, mantis jump out the way, or I can use a girl, crescent kick, kill a whole bunch of people, does a bunch of damage, but she's a, she's an epic. But enough of that. This game is fun as hell. And I recommend this to anybody that, you know, they're bored of any of these other types of game and games and, and, and you're bored of PvP that they have for this. Because honestly, you know, I suck at it. But since I got this game, you know, I'll play with my friends now because I like this game now. This game is cool to me. After buying this, I, I, I figured to myself, you know, I should have bought this game when it first was available. But I'm happy that I waited. Because I could save money and, you know, get the game late. And then have all this, you know, euphoria playing the game now. And all this excitement that I'm feeling playing this game that I should have played earlier. But, you know, whatever. I recommend this game to anybody that's watching this video. If somebody says uh, Fortnite's trash, they have to have a reason. Nobody's just going to say that this game is trash. They have to have a reason. Because I really like this game. I like this game a lot. The story, the characters, like everything pops out at you. The color. The graphics are better than PvP because not only do you have a hundred people, but you have every different map that's on Earth from the story mode put into one place. So I'm saying, you know, from 25 <laughs> to like 30. This isn't 4K. I'm sure if this is on computer, somebody could make it 4K. If it, I'm sure it's 4K available. Who knows, dude? I'm not... I, I don't know. I don't have a PC yet, at least. But I I really like this game. You know, I enjoy this game, playing it so much. It's amazing. The characters, are, you know, they, they're funny in ways that they don't need to be. They're funnier than, than, than Failsafe when she goes into that, you know, her monotone voice. Uh, okay, her name's Cora. Her name's Cora now. Mm-hmm. Because Cora sounds like a boring name. And you know what? She, Cortana. We'll go with that. Because, you know, she started tripping out in the later Halo games. But anyways, this game is fun. I recommend it. I'll give this game, you know, I'll give it about a, <clears throat> a high 7 out of 10. And the only reason for that is because they expect you to buy these crates but what a lot of people don't know is when you get these weapons, <laughs> you don't really get them. You get the schematics. And you know what that means? You have to go grind and look for each individual thing that you need for it to make it. You craft weapons. You craft ammo. Didn't know. They took a lot of the uh, gameplay mechanics out of this game. So that they can make PvP. If you were in PvP and somebody's crafting bullets in their shotgun that they don't have, bro, you're getting destroyed. If they were able to craft rocket ammo or grenade launcher ammo, you're dead. Simply put. But honestly, this game's amazing. Go ahead and buy it. The sale's going on. You know, for a couple more days. Today is uh, Sunday, October 22nd. Then it'll be Tuesday, um, October 24th when, they, when the sale is gone on PlayStation. I don't know if it's gone on Xbox. If there's a sale for Xbox, the same. But go get this game, guys. I really, really got a lot of faith in this game. I'll give this game, 
I said it before, but I'll give it a high 7.9. You know, I forget that. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, and uh, Rookie out.